Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to our video series about databases. This is the first video. So we are going to talk about database. Database, database. Who want to know what a database is? So databases. What is data? Data. Data is everywhere. Huh? Data is simply everywhere. Uh, former times. Let's take our personal life. Yeah? In former times, we can also gather data. Yeah? When we met somebody, yeah, we got its contact information. Yeah? There it was enough to get the contact information, maybe in written form on a napkin. <laughs> and you were already fine. Yeah? Uh, it was one telephone number. Yeah? Or if it's more business related, then such things, yeah? business cards, were often exchanged. Yeah? This is still happening. Yeah? If you make a business meeting, everybody is exchanging business cards. Yeah? What is happening with all this data nowadays? Yeah? We are not collecting business cards somewhere. Yeah? And we are not connecting, uh, collecting some contact data in some telephone book, yeah, which is a hard copy under the telephone. Yeah. Now, this time, this time, we are collecting this data in our smartphone contact information. Yeah. We store it electronically. And such electronic storage, this is called database. So everybody has a database nowadays. And now it's not one telephone number or a napkin. Yeah? Now it's at least two telephone numbers, then there are three email addresses, then there's the Instagram account, the Facebook page, the home page, blah 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 blah. Yeah? <laughs> what I want to say is the the information or the data will not get less. Yeah? So data is everywhere and we gather even more and more data. We gather even more and more of it. Yeah? Classical databases, yeah, where we had a long tradition in collecting data, not now electronically, yeah, but also in former days in lists, in hard copies. Yeah. So personal databases like employees, uh, contact information, customers, suppliers, and so on. Yeah. Then uh, also, also uh, if there is a, if there is a, uh, Lagerverwaltung, yeah? purchase and purchase and expense lists, yeah? drawing lists, yeah? warehouse lists, Lager. This is what was I was looking for. The, I was looking for warehouse lists. Yeah? Of course, you need to know what is inside your warehouse. You so we have to have a list somewhere. Yeah? And then there is, of course, accounting information. It was always, always. To know how much money we have or don't have or should have. Yeah? Production data, especially in quality, so quality data, uh, number of productive units, uh, charge numbers, and so on and so on and so on. All those data they have long tradition yeah? and they were migrated very soon on an electronic way yeah? because it was simply easier, it was simply easier to access them in an electronic way. Some companies, for instance Google, yeah, they even make business out of collecting data and they try to read out of this data some, they, like, they try to predict the future yeah, out of this data. Yeah. Then they, they try, there are algorithms running, they try to find patterns somewhere and, and similarities to other big data or to other personal information and if the similarities are strong enough, then it's likely that one person behaves like the other person, like what the other person is, does want. Yeah? Uh, Netflix yeah? suggesting some, some new series for you. Yeah? Same thing. The thing is called big data. Yeah? The main thing is, yeah? the main thing is that it does not really matter. 
it doesn't really matter if this is huge amount of data like in, like in Google or not that huge amount of data like in your personal uh, contact information on your smartphone. Yeah? The, the data which is stored must be stored secure and efficient. Yeah? I mean, I guess everybody did already buy a new smartphone. And I guess everybody already feared that some contact information is getting lost. Yeah? It's not that we use this contact information because most of this contact information is lying around there anyway. Yeah? But it's very convenient to see, ah, this guy is calling, ah, uh, uh, okay, because I have time. Yeah. I guess that's the main reason why we keep this contact information. It's just a, just a suspicion, okay? Uh, so if you're losing this information and it's just contact information, yeah. But if there is really, really, in, in best time, in best case, it's only inconvenient to lose this information. In worst case, yeah, it really costs a lot of money to lose this information. So it must to be secure, yeah. And also, there are. There are uh, security issues also uh, for your data. Yeah? Not everybody is allowed to read this data. Yeah? Personal data is even secured by, by public law. Yeah? Personal data is secured by public law. But also, uh, you know, production data and there are secrets in there. Yeah? We cannot allow access from, to everybody. So this has also, also to be handled by a data database, yeah? this access rights. Yeah? So it should store efficient, secure and control who is having access to this data. Yeah? yeah, efficient means we try it, we also have to retrieve this data again, of course. Yeah? If we just store the data and never look at it, it's wasted. Yeah? But if we can find it in an efficient way, yeah, exactly what we are looking for, this would be nice. Yeah? So these are the tasks of, of uh, database systems. Okay? Now let's have a short look how such database systems are really working. Okay? So we said a database needs to store permanent, needs to, to store secure, needs to, to, to store efficient, yeah, and of course correct. A database, this I want from a database. Yeah. Database is usually have two layers. Yeah. One layer is the data storage. Data storage. That's the physical. Physical layer, I would say. Yeah? That's the data storage. That's the technology used to store the data. Yeah? Maybe it's magnetic technology like on hard drives or tapes. Yeah? Maybe it's electronic technology like on USB drives. Maybe it's an optical technology like on CDs or DVDs yeah? or Blu-ray discs. Yeah? Data storage. The data storage just is the technology to store data. It has no idea of any logic behind the data. For, the, for this thing, it's just to store permanent. Okay? There is ones and zeros. And what's behind this ones and zero, this does not really care. Yeah? This the only task of this thing here is to store information which information and how they can be retrieved and so on and how they are organized does not really care. Yeah. So this is a bit layer, let's say. Yeah. And then there is the layer which brings 
some sort of logic, like some sort of pattern into this chaos, into this zero one data chaos here. Yeah. And it's the this is the database management system. Yeah. This is the layer above. Yeah. Data base management system. Yeah. Or DBMS. It's DBMS. This is the one which knows the logic. Yeah. This is the one who is searching for a blank spot in the data storage. This is the one who organize, which organizes how the data is stored, in which form the data is stored, and if the data is cleared, how to clean it from the database, and if the data is changed, how to change it in a very efficient way, how to find a certain record inside the database in a very efficient way, how to be sure that the data in here is consistent. Yeah? If somebody is writing to it and another one is reading to it, which who has the who has to yield? Yeah? Who is getting which information? Yeah? This is done by the database management system. This database management system is handling those things according to a database model. Okay. This database model is describing how this data is stored. So this DBMS has an interface to applications. Yeah? It can get new data it can get inf information or, or uh, it can get the order, yeah? the command to retrieve data, it can get the command to write data, it can get the command to change data and so on. So this is an interface to the upper layer, to the application layer. Yeah? And how this data is stored, this is task of the DBMS. Yeah? Also, Handled by the DBMS is the access rights. Not everybody who ha sends a command is served. Yeah. So, what? You want to know? <laughs> you better not. Yeah. You will not know this. Yeah. You will not know the account, account information from your neighbor. Yeah. You know maybe your account information, but not from your neighbor, for instance. So this means not every user has the same rights to access the data. This is also in big companies the case. Yeah? If I am, I don't know, responsible for purchasing, yeah? I am not allowed to alter data, some charge numbers or some production numbers. How would I? How, how why should I? Yeah? It's just dangerous that it may happen by accident. Yeah? So I can place an order, but I cannot change the measured diameter of some gear which was produced. Okay. This user rights, yeah, there is an administrative user usually which can change the user rights for every user. Yeah. So there are users inside, there's an administrative user which can change these users. Yeah. So without this data bench management system, the data storage cannot be used. Yeah. And this DBMS is based on a database model and this database model describes the base organization structure of the database. There are several database models and these database models will then be part of our next video. I will describe some briefly and well there is one database model which is the one, let's call it. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.